Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we are gonna be working on the Equalizer. That's right, the God Killer Gun from Supernatural. So as you guys know, I am a huge Supernatural fan. If you go over to my site, 3dprintedprops.com, you will see about 20 models, different props, files that you can pick up to do all these different props I've been doing for Supernatural. I love that show. It is over with, but I still have plenty of props I need to work on and get printed and finished. Uh, I thought I'd go next with this one, the Equalizer, because it did a lot of damage in this season. Not as much damage as they wanted it to, but it did some serious damage, and it got me to practice my chrome painting with alclad paints i made some mistakes which i will point out in the video and hopefully then you will know what not to do so let's go ahead behind the fake wall and i'll show you how i finish this piece okay so you can see there is a lot of detail in this piece so of course it was resin printed super happy with it now i've already done a bunch of sanding to get these pieces to sort of fit together but you can see that seam there now i printed this on my mars it was before i had my phenom so i had to actually stitch it together so as you can see there's of course some sanding lines we need to get rid of some support lines and clips are always tricky because you know things are a little off here and there tolerances when you print they get a little thicker get a little thinner so you really got to sometimes go in there with a file and clean things out in my case there was actually some supports in there i needed to get rid of and once i took care of those the whole thing sort of slid into place but that's always the misconception about resin printing especially if you're doing something with multiple parts you think oh it's everything's going to slide in there it's going to work but no you need to do your sanding and for this stuff since i was going to chrome it i needed to make sure that I was really doing some fine sanding. So all of this in the end will get a wet sand. And you can see after doing a bunch of sanding, that fit in there nicely. Now remember, you can see my hands, the fine dust there. Make sure you're wearing a mask when you're doing this because this is like fine resin, fine plastic particles, and you don't want that getting in your lungs. So I made it so this snapped in. I really didn't even need glue for this. Uh, and I, I wish I hadn't because you'll see later on I make a little bit of a mistake. Uh, but everything is fitting nicely together. Now, this sort of slides in, this little groove in, into that groove. So I had to clean those things out. And I'm just using a metal file here to really get in there so that this will slide into place. Now, it took a lot to get that in there like that only because, well, two things. One, of course, you, you've always got to do some sanding. But I had to split these files because, again, I did it on the Mars, and it was too small. So you can see here on the split line, I'm using a little bit of Bondo. And, of course, going way too heavy with the Bondo. My, I'm not great with it, but, you know, it'll do the trick. And uh, I'm just putting some Bondo in here and smoothing it out with a piece of foam because I've got to sand that line down to hide where I had to cut it in mesh mixer. And you can see here, I sanded down the Bondo and it's pretty darn smooth. It looks, uh, it looks really good. I was really, really happy with it. So here we're just doing some work sanding down the grips and I'm just going from like a 200 to a three to a four to a six. And then later on, I will wet sand these. And uh, I was really happy with how these grips turned out, that this engraving this looked really cool. Now I've primed it. You could hardly see a line there. I, you know, I can't see it at all. I'm going to go over it with a little bit of sandpaper here. I've, again, I've primed this with a sandable filler so that it will get in there and really cover up those lines. So here we are just wet sanding again. I'm going to be chroming this using that all clad and I wanted the smoothest surface I can possibly get. And I need to now clear out some of these engravings. Of course, this model is really cool. It's got a lot of detail, but when you do all that sanding and you use filler primer, you need to clean those out. So first step in the all clad process using a black gloss. So I'm just giving everything a shot of black gloss and uh, really nice and thick and wet so it will cover it really nicely. I'm making sure I'm not getting any runs uh, and this black coat turned out really well. Sometimes when you, I go a little too heavy, I don't back up enough and I do get a run, but in this case, I didn't. I was really happy with how this black coat went down. Now, if you go with a black coat with all clad, you're gonna get a sort of a darker chrome color. If you go with sort of a, a white primer or a white uh, gloss, you'll get a lighter chroming. So here I am just spraying on the all clad. I'm outside and you can see when that chrome hits that black, 
it just looks very much like chrome. It's very shiny. Uh, it's a darker chrome color, and I am super happy with it. Uh, this was a really bright, sunny day. And uh, when I got inside and everything dried, I was really, really happy. Look at the shine on that from that all clad. Now, I did make a couple mistakes. It is a little cloudy in a few spots. And why that is, is because I didn't let the black dry a full day. I tried to paint it all in one day, and that was a big mistake. So make sure when you're doing this, follow the steps. Just, you know, wet sand it, wash the print. Let that print dry. I let it air dry. I don't wipe it down. Spray it with the black. Let that black dry for one day, maybe even two, and then go in with your all clad. You also want to watch the glue. You can see in a few spots uh, it tarnishes it and gets it uh, the all clad a black color. This kind of worked a little bit just because you know this is a gun that's uh, taken some abuse from the guys. But at the same time, I was like, oh, I wanted it to be nice and. <laughs> nice and shiny so watch your glue because if it gets on this all clad it will definitely discolor it and uh, make it look really dingy but it still it looked kind of neat now as you can see we've just been putting it all together and it's even though it's a little cloudy here and there it's still got a awesomely cool chrome shine again this is a gun that's used by the guys it's thrown around and it's going to have a little bit of wear on it and you can see when i flip it over where the glue sort of tarnished that but it still looks pretty cool so there are some tips and tricks and what not to do. If I could say anything, what not to do, do not rush. Take your time, make sure you're in the right environment to do this painting and put those layers down nice and thin and even and then watch your glue at the end because the super glue will just damage the heck out of that finish. Well, this was a great, great model. I love working on it. I love this project. I mean, it is still very, very shiny, very, very gun looking. And I am super, super happy with it. Again, if you want to pick this file up, you can go over to 3dprintedprops.com. And if you look in the description below, there is a coupon code for 20% off all items in the shop. Tons and tons of models that you can pick up there and print out yourself. And of course, there are other links in the description and on my website to different products I used while I'm working on props. Those are affiliate links. If you click on them, they do, of course, help out the channel. We get a little bit of money and I use it to buy resin and more paint. So if you like the video, guys, please click like and subscribe. We have hit over 6,000. And of course, we just want to go farther and farther and uh, just help people build props and help people have fun doing stuff like this. I know I have fun working on this kind of stuff. Hope you have fun watching. I really appreciate it. Take it easy. Shouldn't, shouldn't probably do this. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. All right. See you guys.